Thank you. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. So welcome to the 48th annual, can you believe it? 48th annual Arnold Dubin Awards Dinner. That is unbelievable, 48th. So for folks who don't know me, because I know that most of you do, my name is Lisa Lemieux, and I am proud to be your kick-ass Latina president of the Greater Southeastern Massachusetts Labor Council. So in addition to being the president of the Labor Council, I am an organizer with the Mass Teachers, Organ Mass Teachers Association, where I am proudly representing educators uh, throughout southeastern Massachusetts, and your MC of the night. So I just want to make sure that we have all our phones on silent, and I want to make sure that people know that um, our facilities are downstairs, so you can take the, if you need to use the ladies or the men's room, they are downstairs, you can take the stairs down or the elevator um, down if you need to do that. I also want to say that we're happy to be back at the university. I feel like when I started my life in the labor movement in southeastern Massachusetts, this is where I came. We used to host our legislative breakfasts here. We had all kinds of meetings here at the university, and then we couldn't come here because there was all kinds of stuff going on, and they were redoing things, and we, we, we weren't here for a very long time. And so we are so excited to be back in this new, beautiful space where we can say that it's a unionized facility. Wow. So not only is it unionized, but our conference services and our catering services are all represented by members of USCW 328. And most of our staff at the, unity, at the university are represented by ASME Council 93, Local 507, AFT Local 1895, our faculty federation, AFT 6350, our maintainers and custodians, and our newly ESU unit and recently organized grad students. So I must say, it's very excited to be back in this space, but it's a little bit weird that we're here without Kim Wilson. So Kim Wilson is the director of the Labor Ed Center and recently had surgery. So she was unable to be here today, but she has been in our thoughts and in our prayers throughout her entire journey. And she did take the time to write us a letter that I'm gonna read to you. It says, good evening, everyone. I'm sorry that I can't be with you in person tonight. As many of you may know, I'm recovering well from some serious surgery. I look forward to being back on the job in mid-December ever thankful for FMLA and the labor movement's effort to get it passed. Special thanks to Acting Director Camilo Viveris for his hard work to put everything together tonight with significant help, <laughs> with significant help from Ida Almeida, Jim Snow, and President Lisa Lemieux. And I will say that None of us could have done it without the support of all the people who helped us do it as well. We had a lot of help. So thank you to all the support that we had. She's also most grateful to the university, our stalwart steering committee, and our advisory board for making everything we do possible. Many thanks to Cindy Rodericks, Steve Toman, for your friendship and support, and our very own awardee, Lisa Jockham. Reverend Barber, we are honored to have you at the Dubin Awards Banquet. I hope everyone enjoys the evening. To our supporters, a hearty thanks. See you soon, Kim Wilson. All right, I just wanna take a minute to recognize the electeds that we have in the room. I think they are representative, my representative, Tony Cabral. <laughs> representative Carol Doherty, who I think was the first person to RSVP to our dinner. Am I missing any other elected officials? Representative Jennifer Stewart. Jennifer Stewart. I can't see you, Jennifer, but welcome. So I just want you to know, because I wouldn't be Lisa Lemieux if I didn't tell you this story, but we invited all our elected officials from southeastern Massachusetts, and these are the three that you have here today. 
So you make your own decision. I know I made mine. All right. So with, it, with that said, we are now going to take the time to take a moment of silence to recognize some of our brothers that we recently lost and pay respect to them. They are special to us. They are George Noel from OPIU Local 6, Gerard Dewey from the Seafarers International Union, and our Maritime Trades Council, who did a lot of work here in southeastern Massachusetts with us, and Tom Conway from the United Steelworkers, who did a lot of work with our brothers and sisters from uh, Steelworkers 1357. If you could give us a moment of silence, we'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And now we're going to bring up our chancellor, Mark Fuller, to do his welcome and introductions.